What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a brand new game called Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Now this is a totally different style of game that I'm used to playing and that I'm used to even having on my channel but I've been asked to play this game by the developers and I'm, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video today. Now this game is coming out on Steam first which I think is the 10th of November. And then it's coming out on the PlayStation afterwards. Now I do actually have a PlayStation code that I've been given that I can give away to one of you lucky lucky people. So when this comes out on the PlayStation on November the 20th, I will be able to give it to one of you guys so that you can play it on release. So if you want to win, if you like this game, just leave a comment how you found my channel. If you like the game, like leave whatever you like, as long as it's nice, of course. And I will pick a winner and I will email you on November the 20th when this game drops. This game looks stunning though, and I'm really, really excited to get into it. It's got demons. <laughs> Look how cute they look! Oh, by what means do you ascend to this place? Hear me, uninvited guests. If you cross that bridge, your pathway home shall be forever forfeit. Turn back! Turn back! I would turn back. Turn back! <clears throat> uh, you do realize I'm speaking, yes? Yonder lies the lofty realm, the realm of the gods. It is no place for humans. Oi! What part of turn back eludes you? I guess all of it. <laughs> I finally found you. Ishimaru? He's not uh, like related to Orochimaru, is he? I had no clue such a grand bridge was on this mountain. It's time to pay up. You won't get away from me this time, Katsura. Ishimaru, why have you chased us this far? A dunce like you probably wouldn't understand, but we're at our wit's end too. I can't let those kids go, and you, traitor, you need to die. But he looks like such a handsome man! What did he do? Then I shall steal myself, if I must. Oh no, he's shaking! Could you look any more pathetic? I can't believe you're a samurai. Oh, that's mean. Whatever. Just die. What? Princess, what are you doing in a place like this? And why are you on his side? I will not allow this. Return at once, princess. The hell? What's going on? Whoa! Whoa! Hmm? Oh, please do carry on. You needn't let me interrupt you. Still, how fascinating. Are you humans? You are, aren't you? To cross swords immediately upon entering the lofty realm. What a barbaric display. Go on then, get on with it. A day of tribute is such a bore. All there is to do is drink until my turn comes around. But today, my little jaunt has been rewarded with the most unexpected encounter. <laughs> Is she completely drunk? Uh, my princess, you mustn't associate with such... Uh, there's no need to fret. I'll return soon. Uh, She's totally drunk! <laughs> Quite the luxurious getup. Ooh, you're most perceptive for a ruffian. Splendid, isn't it? The peak of elegance. It demonstrates my status magnificently, don't you think? Oh, you reek of sake. I thought you were a kid. <laughs> How dare you? I am a hale and hearty adult. Whoa, she mad. <gasps> 
of that horrible comment sobered me right up. I suppose I'll return to the banquet and reacquaint myself with the joy of intoxication. <laughs> Children of men, ahead lies the domain of the gods. Turn back before the bridge vanishes. If you don't, your safety cannot be guaranteed. Or so they say. <laughs> okay, we don't want to mess with her. I mean, did you see the shoes that she was walking in as well? That child has incredible strength. She mentioned a banquet. If we follow her, we might find something to eat. She also said not to cross the bridge. But I guess our bellies rule us, so. Oh, I live for the Japanese theme. I just got sent like a goodie box from Tokyo Treat, so I've been eating Japanese snacks all day today. And now I'm playing this. I mean, look at the graphics, look at the characters. Just makes me miss Japan, you've no idea. She looks like Hinata a little bit from Naruto. <laughs> I can make my tribute every year using only the rice they have on hand at home. How splendid it is to be a high ranking noble. Is that so? I myself must put forth every effort. I hope that Lady Kamuhitsuki will acknowledge me this year. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> you can't change the rank you're born into. Ah, I know. My dear friend Kokoroa, I'll bestow upon you the honor of helping me. The more you appear before Lady Kamuhitsuki, the more likely she'll be to remember you. <laughs> right. Then, if you would be so kind. My princess, please desist from this japery. You must fulfill your own vital duty. When you return to your seat, you must not lose yourself in drink again. This again? You're so bothersome, Tama. It's interesting, it's called Tama. What was the name of the character from World of Final Fantasy? Was it Tama? I don't know if it was Tama. Being drunk has no bearing on my ability to fulfill my duty. It's child's play for... Huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, we just strolled on in here. And where do you think you're going? I'm not finished speaking with... Sorry, Tama. I was wrong. I'll sober up and get to work. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, my princess! So you finally learned to heed my words! No, I don't think she did. Hey! You humans! Ugh. This is not good. This is not good! Never mind my duty. I'm going to be in the hot water if the children of men wander in here. I must catch them, and quickly. I love her. She is so adorable. Oh, this music as well. Look at it, it's so cute. Okay, so it's, you can't go any other way but sideways. I've got my health bar up there. Oh, this is adorable, you guys. So we can jump. Uh-oh. Sakuna was literally just talking to you and now you're doing that? So L and RB extend the divine raiment. Oh, I see, I see. Alright, that's cool. I wonder if I'll get a double jump at any time. Oh wait, I was up on there anyway. Ah, okay. This game is so pretty and I love the music. Are you actually a god, though? Okay, let's jump on all of these. She can actually go really high. Okay, so I can destroy stuff, too. Oh, no. 
Aha, I see, I see. So I wonder if I have just to get on the the edge of it. There we go. Okay. <gasps> my bad, my bad. This is gonna take me a little just to get into. Okay, so I can do that. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh, right, this is definitely gonna, like, you have to angle it, like, so perfectly. Okay. There we go. Alright, got it, got it, got it. So what is that? Hold RB to grip walls and ceilings. There we go. All right, got it. Get back here, you little buggers. But isn't she human? She's talking like she's not human. Huh? Hey, you aren't supposed to run into me. Woo! Nice. So we get these little orbs at the side there. So heavy attack with Y, quick attack. Oh, nice! <gasps> Ouch. Oh, that's really awesome. Oh, I really like this battle. Oh, oh. Watch out! There's so many amazing games that get made. I wish I had time to play more games. Like, usually these kind of games wouldn't be on my radar, but, like, when I got told about this, I was like, that's right up my street, you know? So it's like, how many other games like this have I just not seen? This is the divine garner! Do they mean to eat my offering of rice for Lady Kamehitsuki? I absolutely won't allow it. But they're just hungry. Uh oh. So who are these people? You've done it now. I shall etch a painful reminder of your hubris upon your lowly human souls. Oh no. No wait. The alcohol and oil in here could swiftly embroil the whole place in flames. Yeah, and it has. Oops. What was that loud noise? I smell something fragrant. <laughs> oh no. What the heck? Princess Sakuna. Yes. You have been blessed with favor as the daughter of the great warrior god Takaribi. Yet even so. You have obliterated the Divine Garner, along with the offerings I was to receive. <sighs> Alas, what have you done? It was an accident. I... I uh, oh, please forgive me. It was all their fault. <laughs> A god mustn't blame their crimes on humans. <laughs> now then, children of men, Identify yourselves. I am Katsura Uemon no Jo Takamori. The people call me Taoemon. I'm Kinta. Who are you? The head honcho or something? I'm Yui. Yui! Like Sword Art. I'm Mirte, and this is. Ah! Kaimaru! We gods and you humans are of two realms. That is to say, the natural order divides us betwixt the lofty realm and the lowly realm. Nevertheless, the floating bridge of heaven which you crossed has already disappeared. 
Even I, the preeminent goddess Kamohitsuki, do not know when it will next appear. Therefore, until it does, you are to help Princess Sakuna rectify the disorder left in the wake of your bedlam. Rectify... meaning... Princess Sakuna, do you recall the Isle of Demons? It is the outlying island where your parents met and defeated the evil god Omizuchi. That tumultuous land has long been a nest of demons and has yet to fall under my control. You are to investigate the origin of the ceaseless horde of demons as you expunge them from the island. But, but that's... I beg your pardon, Lady Kamahitsuki, but the Isle of Demons is entirely too far away. Reaching it alone will take me days. And? Did you expect to commute from here? You will establish a foothold on the Isle and see to your orders from there. Until then, you are banished from the capital. Banished? You are... banishing us? Truly? My word is law. That is all. Now be gone. It was an accident, lady! <laughs> banished. Come, princess. Let us go. Huh. Well, you know what? I don't know if I wanted to be there anyway, so... Whatever. I hate this. I hate it! I hate it! I'll die if I leave the capital! <laughs> you are too old to be throwing a tantrum. <laughs> what is done is done. Let us carry out our mission and return to the capital post-haste. Sakuna? Kogoroa! I refuse to go with those humans! I wish to stay here with you. I too will be lonely without you. Sir, may I? By all means. <laughs> Just the way he picks her up, like what? <laughs> Sorry, girl. Such ill-fitting behavior for the descendant of the capital's greatest warrior god. However, this might actually be good for her. Raised here in luxury, the princess has wanted for nothing and has grown accustomed to relying on her parents' wealth. I pray that she learns much in the course of the hardships that undoubtedly await her. Please take care of Sakuna for me. Look at his little tongue. That's so cute. I will guard her with my life. Goodbye, Sakuna. I'm sad, but a little relieved as well. I wonder why that is. Because it was probably a nightmare having to sit next to a brat for God knows how long. It's kind of harsh though because you can imagine that she is used to her life being the way it is and you know if someone becomes a spoiled brat it's usually because they were let to be that way they were let get away <sighs> with exertion. it my muscles cry out listen you me and the samurai here are the ones who rode the whole time i feel like my arms are gonna fall off now now it's all right so lady sakuna what should we do now? Good question. I'll petition the old man. Old man! Hey, Tama! Are you sleeping? Oh! Mm. So mm. that's what Tama is. So, we've arrived at last. This is undoubtedly the Isle of Demons. You truly are an old fart. You were clearly listening, so hurry and explain our next objective. Hmm. I believe this cave continues to the heart of the isle, at which point it unfolds into a mountain pass. At its peak is the house where your mother lived. Let us head there first. Huh. Okay, got it. All right. Mosey along, children of men. Ew! Uh, not you. You're a bit too young. Kaimuru is with me. What about the rest of you lot? Why is no one moving? Because... The Isle's full of demons, huh? Right, Pinta? Yui's right. Aren't gods supposed to protect us humans? Ugh, you cheeky little twerp. <laughs> You're called Taoimon, correct? 
Has that sword at your hip a mere ornament? <laughs> My humblest apologies. This blade may be of ancient and noble descent, but I myself have utterly no skill in swordplay. Oh. Well, there's always time to learn. Once, when I drew it in dire circumstances, the handle slipped from my fingers. That's sad, though, because that's why he was shaken on the bridge. Mm, princess. All right, fine. I shall go by myself. Then we will follow your lead. All right, well, it's all on me. Um, so select difficulty. I guess we'll go for default. So ultimately, I just want to play a little bit of this game to kind of... Oh, I can dash? How did I do that? Ah. Just so I can, like, get a feel for exactly what I need to be doing. So that's interesting. It's not just, like, a, a hack and slash. Like, I've picked up an item to use as well. Like, I picked up some wood. So I guess I want to, like, destroy as much as possible? I wonder if that respect, it's like Dragon Quest Builders. So I want to learn what all this stuff does. So I'm level two. Fullness. Do I need to eat? Is that what that is? That looks like the, um... The rice balls from Alex the Kid. I'm sure that's what that is. Okay, so I have to eat as well. I've got no rice. I've got weather. Okay, so I've got different weapons. So does that not do anything? It was a gift from your dear friend. Oh well, we can have that on. I've got no masks. I've got no skills! Swing a two-handed weapon with all your godly might, sending the enemy flying forward. So that's all I've got just there. And we've got Roundup, which is that one. So, all right, let's do this. That hat is so cute. But like, I feel like this enemy is kind of cute too, right? Woo! Where'd you come from? No, 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 no. That's what you get. Perform a variety of attacks. I'm doing it. Got a bean. What is? Oh my gosh! Look at this thing. He's got a shield. Oh! Okay, I want to stay out of his way because he's dangerous. Whew. Beast hide. So at the moment, I don't know what to do with any of the stuff that I'm getting, but it's really cool. Natural healing. Oh, sick. Right, I'm gonna take the hat off, actually. I think I prefer her natural hair. Uh-oh. Extra bunnies. Root crops. So I wonder if I have to just get through this bit and then I will get to like a, a growing section. So I, I don't tend to play, oh my gosh, a lot of games like this, but I played a lot of, um, whoops, oh no. I played a lot of Dragon Quest Builders, and I really loved that game. So I guess if this is like anything like that, I'll be really happy. The movement is so nice too. Ow. I feel like you have to be quite quick with these guys. Wait, why is he glowy? Whoa, 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 there's a ton. Sit down, bunny. I 
love that. Oh, we're here. Got some rabbit meat. I thought they said demons. I mean, to my knowledge, rabbits ain't demons. <laughs> rabbits are cuties. Jump on that. So yeah, we're picking up a lot of items just now, and I wonder when I'm gonna get to use them. Identify yourself. You are not a demon. Are you a servant of Kamohitsuki? Whoever you are, you will rot here for all eternity. That's not very nice. What did you just say? How dare you threaten me, a high-ranking noble? The princess, please. Do not interfere, old man. Keep your distance. Bear witness to the Ah, oh, boss already. But I think Tama was trying to tell. He was trying to tell me something. Okay. This main character, she likes to uh, talk before she can really like figure out what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like someone else I know. I have, cause, 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 you missed me. I am like addicted to this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, no, no, no. You missed me. Ouch. Um, um, um. Too slow. You can't escape. I'm serious now. Come. How, dude? How do I keep missing all that? <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. What is this? An earthquake? And a ferocious one at that. Where are you skulking off to? We are not done here. Ah, uh, slippery weasel. <laughs> We may actually be headed to the same place. He's very mad, right? <laughs> Mind you, so is she. I love her voice, actually, because she's so angry all the time. Ooh. Look at this map. So pretty. Okay, so have we just left that one area? I guess so. So are we going to the mountain pass? Oh! A mountain pass bisecting the Isle of Demons center. At the top lies the house where Sakuna's mother, Toyohana, lived. Oh. You. How did you get here? I walked, I followed you. Huh. What do you mean? This mountain pass is enchanted with a spell that disorients would-be interlopers. Only those who know about the pass already are able to reach this place. That's because her mother lived at the top. And the one armed with that knowledge... ...is none other than me. It's been some time, Ashigumo. What a surprise. If it isn't Takaribi's blade familiar. We mistakenly crossed blades with you earlier, but we have no quarrel with you. Stay your hand. This is my master, Lord Takaribi's daughter, Princess Sakuna. Owing to unfortunate circumstances, we are impelled to take up residence on this isle. Is the house still here? Yes, I'm still taking care of it. So you're acquainted? You should have said. He tried to say. I seem to recall you rushing ahead without heeding me once again. We can talk at length later. Right. If we don't go fetch the others, they'll never find this place. I'm delighted that you figured that out. You know, sometimes I wonder if you're mocking me. Oh, never. Oh, I bet this is where we're gonna do some planting and stuff. It's slightly damaged, but in surprisingly good condition. This is strong wood. 
but the house is still habitable. You are called Ashigumo, correct? Why would you protect my mother's house with all these demons swarming around? I owe your father a great debt. The evil god Omizuchi, who your parents battled here, also threatened the Ashigumo tribe. Your father, Lord Takaribi, gave them strength and wisdom, and they triumphed over Omizuchi together. Huh. So that's why. Quite the honor, I dare say. It's oh, oh, you here? Oh, it's it's okay. okay. Inside. Hey! Where do you get off gambling through my house before I so much as set foot in it? You've toiled long and hard, to that I can see. Would you allow us to use this house? You have none other than Takaribi's daughter at your side. I cannot refuse. This must be fate. Let us aid one another. Now that we have a house, we are settled. You all can do whatever you want from now on. I shall convalesce until such a time that I am prepared to carry out the solemn duty bequeathed unto me by Lady Kamehitsuki. Whatever we want? Like what? Princess, this is no time for a royal nap. There may be a storehouse here, but its reserves are drained. If you sleep your days away as you did in the capital, you will starve. Where summer comes. And as long as the demons rule this island, foraging is too great a burden for the humans alone. Your divinity dictates that you must be the one to act, my princess. You're telling me to go out and hunt? Fulfilling your duty means strengthening your foothold here, day by day. Moreover, you and this land share a deep connection. There is no better place for you to begin your journey. If not a royal nap, couldn't I at least royally procrastinate until tomorrow? Goddess, should we plant something in this field? That is a splendid idea. <laughs> but first, we must find some seeds. I have some rice husks right here. My word! How terribly convenient! Why would you walk around with such a thing? Are there not a samurai? Did you not hear him earlier? I can barely hold a sword. I was born into a family of warriors, but my focus is on field work, not the sword. I have kept these husks with me ever since I left home. Stoops to becoming a bandit. Wouldn't millet be easier to start off with? No, rice might prove to be just the ticket. My princess has inherited abilities from both Takaribi, the warrior god, and Toyohana, the harvest goddess. <laughs> As such, her powers are greatly affected by the five grains, and particularly by rice. We plant rice. Sakuna grows strong, yes? Indeed. It will become easier to drive the demons back. By growing rice, we can fill our bellies and reduce the demon population in one stroke. Two birds with one stone, as it were. Then it shall be so. Lady Sakuna will go hunt. We'll stay here and plant the rice. Uh, we've got to help, too. No work, no food, I guess. I will help, too. Hee-haw-hi! <laughs> oh, wait, I haven't had a say in this. Taoemon, I expect great things from you. Give it your all out there in the fields. Your trust will not go misplaced. Tama is like the real MVP in this game. Hey. So, there is a small cave nearby. The demons there are weak. You may have some fu uh, fun, luck, finding food. <laughs> a long trip sounds rather laborious, so I shall heed your suggestion. I'll tend to the rice until it begins to sprout. Oh. Luckily for us, I found some tools in the storehouse. We must express our gratitude to Lady Sakuna's mother. Oh, that's cool. So, the dungeon style stuff is in like a 2D style horse tail. And then the rest of it seems to be like 3D. So, that's really cool. 
It's such a pretty game. I really wish that there was more people that really enjoyed games like this. I also wish there was more people who would want to watch games like this too, because I feel like they're not as popular online, but I really wish they were, you know? Spider! Ew. So this is just like my home base, I guess. And then we're gonna plant, we're gonna grow strong. So it's not what I thought. I don't know why, but I thought I was gonna have to do a lot more, but it seems like the humans are gonna do most of it. And I'm gonna be the one that kind of goes out and does the rest, which is fine. So this is my shelter. It's amazing how she hates humans and now we're stuck with them. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to the dungeon then. Look at this baby. <laughs> so cute. So I guess as I progress in the game, the characters around me are gonna become more and more useful. Hiya, goddess. I'm a goddess. Thank you so much. Right, well, this goddess is ready to go on an adventure. Training hall. So long ago, your father, Lord Te Tekeribi, dug out this cave in order to be closer to his beloved lady, Toyohana. He also utilized the space as a training ground. In truth, the cave is indeed as diminutive as you sensed. However, a spell is an effect that shrinks all who pass through the entrance. Is that so? <laughs> My father had many talents, I see. The shrine in the center appears to still be active. If you touch it, you can begin Good training. Grief. Father was rather brazen to dig a hole under a lady's house without permission. Since I'm here, I may as well make use of it. Okay. Skill gauge. Oh. So, yeah, you just do like combo moves in here. this. Ooh, I've obtained some scrolls. Oh, this takes me back. These are Lord Tekeribi's Te writings on the art of battle. Father wrote this? Wishing to share their knowledge with each other, Lord Tekeribi penned the art of battle. Likewise, Lady to Toyohana wrote the art of farming. When your parents left this island, their teachings were passed on to the Ashigumo tribe. However, it appears the, scroll the scrolls were scattered and lost in the wake of this demonic invasion. Perhaps I will give them a look if I happen to chance upon any more. That's cool. Right, let's get on out of here and head to a dungeon, I guess. Aww. He was my first boss and he's actually turning out to be like the nicest guy in the game. Who knew? So I guess I just have to leave this place. It's quite interesting though that they probably could have done most of the game like this in 3D. But uh, right, so there's my home. That was the, wait, is that a different one? Because it says it's got a zero for the exploration, so... Discover a mining area. Oh, so it's got day and night as well, like... How interesting. Actually, no, wasn't this the one... I thought this was maybe the one I just done. Ah, nice. We got a beast tooth. The music is like so good. Dun, 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 dun. Although I feel kind of bad for the bunnies. So it's just a typical kind of game where I guess the more levels you do, the more items you get. 
And then we give them back to our farmer friends, who are not actually our friends. We don't get on with humans, we're snobby. We were brought up better than dealing with humans, but I do really like that there's the whole... Like, humans come from a different realm. Like, that's quite interesting. Ooh, these are new. It just feels like a really good game. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, the, um, the fighting is really good. The jumping is good. I can't really fault it. Like, it's so much fun. My Discord's gonna be mad at me because they're gonna be like, oh god, another game that I'm gonna have to buy because of you. <laughs> it's like, well, listen, if I introduce you to something that you're like, okay, that's good, then I done my job, right? Is that all? I hardly broke a sweat. There may yet be some in hiding. Why not rest a spell and then come back later? I found some ingredients! Donald Duck would be so proud of you. That look edible. So I shall heed your counsel. Let us return home and feast. Oh. But, so that was all I had to do here. Can I break this up? Nice, all right, let's go home. Exploration level one. Wait, why are you guys not inside? Welcome back, goddess. Oh. Hmm? Did something happen? Personally, I'm exhausted, but... Go see the old Samuel. He's by the shed. I have a bad feeling about this. My intuition is always right. What are you, like, he was scared. Like, why were you scared just hiding down here? What's wrong? You trying to make us starve to death, you big doofus? Kinta, getting angry is bad. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm so sorry. But what did he do? How can you mess up? Uh, I'm so ticked off. You're making quite a fuss. What in the world happened? This dingus lost all the seeds in the water! Oh, that's pretty bad. What? Does that mean we cannot grow rice? All that's left is this small handful. The rest is... Apparently, he's only ever watched farmers and hasn't ever done a lick of farming himself! Why does he sound like Steve from American Dad? Anyone else hearing that? Ugh, this chump is dead weight. I thought you said we could trust you. How do you plan to fix this? It pains me to say so, but in truth, I lack not only the skill to fight, but any sort of manual skill at all. Oh, come on, no one's that bad. I adore farm work, and yet I am inept at it. I only got in the way of the farmers. I assumed I was the only one here who knew anything about planting rice. So I was inspired to succeed for once, but... Oh, I've brought dishonor upon myself. To make amends, I shall slice open my belly and... Uh, no, don't do that. That is quite unnecessary. Yeah, quite unnecessary. Stop! Stop right there! If you're gonna die, you in some place where we don't have to watch you bleed out. Really, Kinta? Oh. No one wishes for you to die. We were merely asking what we're going to do for food. Having one less mouth to feed certainly can't hurt them. Damn, you are a savage. Needs enough for five people. I mean, how greedy can you get? Stop, Ermi. Why do you hurt Taoiman? Taoiman is nice. He only made mistake. I am not Yanato person, but I understand that is not right way to act. Thank you. Okay, okay. You cannot argue after being scolded by a person who is not of this land. Your name's Mirte, then? For your sake, we shall make peace. This evening, we shall all feast on the meat I gathered and turn in early. That goes for you as well, Shorty. <laughs> oh, 
What is it this time? I am good cook. Today I will make meal from my country. It will be so good. Oh, okay. A dish from your country, you say? I do not know where you hail from, but I'll look forward to it nonetheless. I shall give this meat to you then. Cook us up something good. Okay, I will try hard. So I thought these humans were related, but what, what is this? Like I'm not so sure. They don't seem like family, and then if they are family, they obviously hate each other. It was good. Lady Sakuna, the leftover seeds have managed to sprout. It's finally time to plant them, but... Have you got a handle on it this time? I tend to get a bit carried away and end up crushing the seedlings and destroying the footpaths. That sounds like quite the mess. <laughs> I think that goes beyond merely being inept. Hey, Tama, what are you looking at? You're not thinking of putting me to work again, are you? Just consider how ridiculous it would be for a harvest goddess to plant the very rice she receives as an offering. No, it's not strange in the least. Our country's harvest goddess is abundantly energetic. Your mother, Lady Toyohana, worked the fields every year, as does the preeminent goddess, Lady Kamuhitsuki. Are you serious? Even the noble Lady Kamihitsuki mucks about in rice patties? Surely you jest. Uh, be that as it may, we cannot entrust our continued livelihood to the children of men. Most are but women and children, after all. Do not worry. I'm sure you will excel. You are none other than Lady Toyohana's descendant, after all. I mean, if her mother is so great, how has it gone so horribly I'm wrong with her? I'm my knowledge of the process, at least. I'll teach you how to do it. Don't act all high and mighty after what you did yesterday! Okay, so I am going to plan. I did wonder. Right, let's do it. Let's give it a try, shall we? Oh my gosh, look at her movement! It's so cute! Hey, watch me. I'm gonna be the best little planter. I have to walk backwards, so it's, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna plant all the seeds. We're gonna have all the food in the world. It's so weird that it goes backwards. So it is like, um, Dragon Quest. Cause that's kind of what I was hoping it would be. Cause I really enjoyed Dragon Quest when it came to like um, planting and building and things like that. Like I, I really enjoyed it and um, I like that this game has the action aspect but then it it also has the um, like the planting okay? aspect you know. We planted them with enough space in between. So, I planted them too far apart? No. Huh. <laughs> so what do I do now? Yes. During the summer, you watch over the rice while pulling out any weeds that sprout. I've heard that maintaining the right water level is also vitally important to their growth, but we can leave that for later. First, we must tend to the weeds. I will leave that to you until the till it comes time to harvest. So you're free to hunt or plant rice as you please. Check your story progress under quests in the pause menu. Take a look when you're not sure how to proceed. Alright. Oh. 
You're staring at that rather intently, child. Are all boys this drawn to a blade? Child. Ain't you a child too? I am a full grown adult, thank you very much. How dare you say that in a face of such mature, flawless beauty? I am a goddess, I tell you. A goddess. You should be idolizing me. Um, doesn't seem so cut and dry to me. First of all, you're pushing that goddess junk real hard. It's pretty fishy, you know. What? What did you? What's going on here? Righteous fury has rendered me speechless. Talk amongst yourselves for a spell. So you want to become strong? Right on. It's not like I want to wave a sword around or anything, but... I come from a line of craftsmen. What have I got to do to make something as amazing as this? It is nothing on the level of this sword, but I can at least make a kitchen knife. You want to learn? Seriously? I need a forge to teach you. Goddess or Buddha or whoever you said you were. Just who do you think you are summoning me so non calamity -ly? <laughs> It's not my fault. I can't leave from here. Sorry about before. That was my bad. So please, I'm begging you. If I could just have a forge, I could make tools for you. Hmm. I'll think on it. Okay, so we need clay, stone, and wood. Dun, dun, dun. Search the area and raise the level. Okay. So this is really cool actually. Subquest, exploration. So there's like a ton of different quests that you get to do at any one time. The one thing I want to ask though, like, is there a quicker way to go to the map? There you go. I was going to say, because like, I don't want to have to run down all the time. Does that make sense? So I wonder if I can explore. Yeah, there's still a ton that I can do here. So we're going to explore. We're going to get some more goodies that we need. We need a ton of clay, so there's a lot more. Yeah, I am digging this game. So good. And I can't wait to get some new mo like weapons and some new techniques and some different moves. So I wonder if the areas get bigger the, the more times you go in them or if it's always going to be the same size of an, uh, an area. I feel really bad because I have my Xbox controller quite close to my mic and uh, I know that it goes like clack 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 and it's something that I absolutely hate like if I'm watching someone say speed run a game and all I can hear is them like clapping their keyboard I don't know why but it's like it's a massive pet peeve of mine so I <laughs> I apologize if my controller is slightly too close to my, uh, my microphone. Whoops. So I am able to show up to chapter 3, I think they said of this game, like before it comes out. So if you guys want to see more of this game, I will happily play it for you guys. Like, it's so much fun. And there's a ton that obviously I can show. Oh nice, so we got the exploration. You can now go to the skipping stone hill. So yeah, like, as soon as you start unlocking stuff, it's better. We'll be able to go to more places. So let's go to the end of this one. And we'll go to a different area as well. I think also what I really like about this, I struggle quite bad with my motion sickness and I feel like this is just, it's easy, it's not, it's not causing me to have motion sickness or anything like that. 
Hey, we've got a new one. So exploration rate 75%. It's gone up to level three. Let's go to a new one, shall we? Actually, what else is on this one? Defeat enemies at night. So I can't do that right now. Because I'm not 100% certain on how I can make it night. What is this? That wall seems usable. If I send those rocks flying, it might crumble. Frontal smash. Hidden power lies dormant within your equipment. You can release these abilities under certain conditions. Releasing a piece of equipment's true power will increase its attributes. You may also discover new uses for your equipment. Why not give it a go? Oh, I see. So because I defeated so many of the demon sparrows... Oh, that's really awesome. These special powers are sealed within stones called spirit bows. That's right. If you chance upon them on your travels, infuse them into your tools. That's really awesome. Okay. So it doesn't... It doesn't actually tell you, though. Oh, I was supposed to be frontal smash. There we go. So it takes a little while to uh, come back. I wanna, can I use this? Oh, sir! What? That's crazy! Like, that was crazy, the way that just took out, like, all of them. Can I go? No, we're going down the way. Oh, my stomach is growling. Really? Like, I've barely been out here. Hmm, I want to get up there. Hold on, bunny, I'm coming. I just gotta get the angle right. There we go. So what do these things do? Oh! Oh, I thought I had to jump on them. Oh, I'm so silly. Okay, so I actually have to hit those so I can get the scrolls. Oh, silly me. Back! Excuse me. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. They get invincibility frames though. Fifty-one! Ow. No, sir. Get up here. It's a pretty big level. I'll go home after this one and we'll rest up and get something to eat. But I'm having too much fun. What do I do to these? They're just gonna roll back down again unless I need them. Oh, I do. I need them. I need them. Okay. Get up there. Come on. <gasps> no! Okay. Darn! That's really awkward. Oh no. Hmm. It's definitely getting trickier now to see what way I'm going. Is it getting dark? Okay, but I mean. 
I'll be alright, yeah? Really? I need to go? Okay, well... Listen, if you're telling me to go because it's night... Oh, so I understand now. So I just wait. I just wait it out. Well, I feel a bit concerned. I'm not sure if I'm really strong enough or not, so... I'll do as I'm told and I'll go and rest up. It's fine. What a beautiful game this is, though. Like, I'm really happy with it. I think it's awesome. So where... Oh, Got a bamboo. That's so cool that you, like... You release the spiders, you know? <laughs> Wouldn't be me, that's for sure. There's, like, frogs everywhere. I'm dealing with all the weeds and stuff like that. <sighs> the charcoal looking okay. thing. All right. No doubt you are quite proud of your country, but if the ingredients do not match the recipe, there's little point in forcing a poor fit. If you are to be in charge of our meals, then it would be best for you to learn how to cook dishes that are more familiar to us. We'll start with something simple. So I got a new objective just then. Silly spider, get out of here. So it says I'm to go home and rest, but I mean I'm I'm spending more time out and about again. Is it possible to sleep? Like I feel like I would sleep in here, no? Whoops. Is that not my bed? Like, where do I sleep? All right, I am all out of time for this episode here today. A massive thank you to the devs for giving me the opportunity to play this game. It's so much fun. It's the kind of thing that I would sit on the sofa and I would just spend hours and hours into this game. Like, it's so much fun. I love the leveling system. I love the controls. I actually really love the graphics as well. It's the kind of games that I really enjoy to play. If you would like to see more of this game, then I am more than happy to bring it to my channel. As I say, I'm allowed to show, I think, up to chapter 3 at least. So apparently that's quite a lot. So if you are interested in this game, please let me know in the comments and I will happily continue it for you guys. This has been Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.